Hello everyone, I'm Odia from a target YouTube channel and this will be another video in OR 2.0 authorization flow for Google API. So please go and watch my previous videos then only you can understand this video here because this is the continuation of that. So in the last video, we have already generated my access token, okay, which is going to expire in 4000 seconds, right? So now if the access token expired, then again, you need to go and you need to get the authorization code, then you, you can generate the access token again. But if you see this response, we have something called refresh token and the concept of refresh token, I have already explained in my previous video. In short, if the access to be expired, you can use the refresh token to generate a new access token without generating a new authorization code and generate a new access token. If you go to the documentation again, here the same documentation which I am following, here it is saying that refresh, refreshing an access token. Okay, so if you see here, we have the same token, same URI which I use for the token and we need to pass the client ID, client secret, grant type, refresh token. And again, it is URA encoded. So let me go and create a new request. Let me copy the URI. And this will be post call. Don't make the same mistake again. You can see here, this is a post call. And let me go to body, select the URA encoded. And let me pass all those keys like client ID, client secret, client type, refresh token. So let me copy the client ID, which I have already here, or you can copy from the previous request in Postman. Then you have to copy the client secret. What should be the grant types? For that, you need to go and read the documentation. It is saying that the filled value must be set to refresh token. Why? Because we are going to generate a new access token using the refresh token. In the previous request where I was generating the access token, that time grant type was the authorization code, which I have already generated here, right? I have already explained those things already in my previous videos. Please, you need to go and watch that. How to generate the authorization code, how to use that authorization code to generate the access token, refresh token. Now I am explaining that how can I use this refresh token to generate a new access token. So grant type will be my refresh token and again this time you need to pass the refresh token which I got it in the last video. So let me copy the refresh token so paste the refresh token here and it is the post call let me hit the API let's see what happens okay so we can see that we got a new access token which is again going to be expired in some 4000 seconds and it is bearer type so this is the whole OHAC 2.0 flow I have shown you whatever I explained in my slide okay this was the flow with the access token okay so this step is pending where I have not shown you how can I use the access token to get my protected resource that I will explain and if you see the last slide where I am explaining OS 2.0 flow with the refresh token. So I am generating the refresh token. Here I didn't get the invalid token error because I am just showing you for the demo purpose. But if you are trying to use the protected resource, you should say you should get some invalid token error if the access token expired. But I use the refresh token to generate my new access token. And here you can see when I generated the new access token, it is not giving me the refresh token again. Means I can use the same refresh token again and again to generate the access token. So let me click on it. I can use the same, right? So now question comes in which condition refresh token can be expired. So if you go to Google authentication page, you can see one thing called revoking a token. So you can revoke the token as well. Okay. This is the end point to revoke the token and you can pass the, the, the token can be access token, refresh token. So using this API, you can revoke the, or you can set the access token and refresh token expired. If you also deregister your app from Google, then also refresh token will be expired. So it's not like that refresh token cannot be expired. So in upcoming videos, I am going to show you again two things like how can you generate the access token, refresh token in Postman. Okay, in one step and also I will show you that how can you use the Google Playground to generate the authorization code as well. Okay, so if you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.